Good morning, this is Sandy Reese with StampinCrew.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Thanks so much for joining me for our Facebook Live today. I'm jumping on a little bit early. I have appointments later on, so I want to make sure we didn't run out of time for this. So today I wanted to feature one of our new celebration products. We um, had a second release. And so we have several things from the annual catalog and the mini catalog that are going to, are offered for free with a with qualifying order. So the set I wanted to feature today is called um, Perched in a Tree. So the stamp set is not one of the free items, but these aspen tree dies right here. There are um, one, two, three, four, five, six different dies. And they're free with a $100 order. So it's a little of the price of your side, but it is a $36 value. And if you were to do this in a bundle, you'd get these for 30, so $6 off, or, or wait, only $4 off. So it's a good deal to just purchase the stamp set and get these dies for free. So this is the bundle I'm gonna focus on uh, for the next few videos and let me give you a little closer look. This is the Perched in a Tree stamp set. Love, love this adorable little bird. It can be colored all different ways. And then these are the dies. I know my dies are always messy. <laughs> I just shove them in the, in the packet, but um, it's okay. Uh, so we're gonna start off with kind of a summery springtime card, and then Saturday I'm gonna have a fall card for you, and then Monday we'll have a Christmas card. Now, the sentiments in here, there's four sentiments. This It says, no matter the season, I'm here for you. Uh, let heaven and nature sing, wishing you abundant joy and peace, and your kindness warm my, warms my heart. But today I wanted to do a thinking of you card, uh, thinking of you, card so i decided to use the go to greeting stamp set this is in the uh, annual catalog it's one of our million dollar achiever sets but i love this because it has the, it's the same four sentiments just a note thank you thinking of you and happy birthday but it's in three different fonts so we've got this beautiful larger script font we have this kind of medium-sized font right here, which is what I'm using today, and this sweet little dainty font. Love it, and plus they added a hello, so we get a bonus hello in that cute little one. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, I wanted to also show you, this is called, let's see, what's the name of this? Happy Forest Friends Designer Paper, which I thought worked perfectly with this. And I have, this is all, I have two packets of this, and this is all I have left of the mushroom. I have been using this like crazy. So one side we have colored um, prints. The other side is a solid color, or a solid, you know, like monochromatic. Then this is the one we're gonna be using today. Uh, but we're using, um, well, I'll tell you in a minute how we're gonna use this. Then on the back, we have this fun uh, olive pattern. Over here, we have several different images. So these you can cut up and use um, as you want. And then the back side is kind of a so saffron chevron. Then this one has just logs and branches and acorns. Then on the back, we have these uh, smoky slate pluses. And then here we have some animals and fauna, flora and fauna. Uh, I guess it'd be animals are the fauna, maybe. <laughs> we have the florals. So uh, Sahara sand little, little bee marks. And then we have leaves and acorns and berries on this side and then some kind of funky uh, olive tree ring type pattern on the other. So I love, love this paper. Okay, so let's get back to this one. So what I did was cut a slice down here of uh, about three and three quarters inches wide. And so I'm going to use, right here you can see, I'm gonna use the bottom for the card today. Then we're gonna use the top half, which is just the branches, for our card on Saturday. So keep that in mind, don't forget. 
Okay, <clears throat> so let's bring in our other pieces. Our card base is Sahara Sand. We have a layer of soft suede. Then we have our designer paper. So we have just these three layers. Now I went ahead and stamped and die cut our bird because we're gonna color him. So it's just stamped a memento on basic white cardstock, and then uh, I die cut it. Then I stamped the branch uh, on Sahara sand with soft suede, and I die cut it. Didn't cut real good down here. <laughs> it shifted a little bit, but that's okay because we're gonna be covering that. And then we have this really cute kind of leaf image that um, die cuts, and I think I did that out of old olive. All right, so these are our pieces. And then I've got our thinking of you right here. And what I kind of like about this is I can stamp this kind of where it will, it won't interfere with these darker, darker images. And then I can kind of play with where I'm gonna put my bird. So I want this close to the top, but I wanna, I don't wanna overlap that. So I'm gonna get in between these two right here, I think. Hopefully straight. Um, I feel like that might be straight. Pretty good. Close enough anyway. Okay, so now our branch can go either way. Let's see if we have it coming this way. Well, we have enough room for our bird. We've got to come down far enough so our bird doesn't cover our words. So I think we'll go about here. All right. Let's see. I think we're going to glue down our branch. So we'll use a little Tombow adhesive. I'm not going to go all the way to the end because we're going to trim this off. Let's see. Let's trim off the edge here. Okay. Now I'm going to take this and we're going to cut this apart into two pieces. I kind of want, uh, we'll do a little bigger one here. I'm just trimming off one end of it. I'm gonna make two bunches. I don't want it to look like it's just cut off straight right here. So we're gonna kind of just, just trim a little bit so it looks a little more natural. All right, we're gonna cut, glue this to the end. So we'll just put some little dots of Tombow adhesive. We don't have to cover the whole thing. We're just gonna, going to put it right here. All right, then we're going to take this one and we're going to just have that kind of coming off because you can, you know, have some foliage at the other end of the branch too. Yeah, this is a very low-hanging branch. There's a giant tree over here that <laughs> has this low-hanging branch. All right, we're gonna just trim this off. All right, just like that. My words are a little bit lower than I would have liked. That's why we have to put our branch so low, but it'll be okay. All right, let's go ahead and adhere this. Uh, I just put a new seal in here. I have it stuck to my finger. I'm trying to wipe that glue off there. Okay. Right side up would be helpful. on our card front. I've got pieces of old olive leaves sticking to me. All right. Now let's color our bird. So we want to color to kind of go with our with our card. So I've got some soft suede, calypso coral blends, 
and then uh, I have an ivory. So we're gonna take this ivory and just kind of do the feet in the ivory and the beak. Okay, and then on the coral, we're gonna do just kind of the a dark coral around. Coloring with the Calypso coral, the, the lighter coral. Pull this in, and we'll do a little blending with the other tip. Now if we go into this, it's okay. I'm just gonna go into it a little bit. See, we'll use the dark soft suede. The end of my soft suede is a little soft. So I'm just going to use it on these, these tail feathers here. My little bird's a little darker than a little darker than we normally would have. Let's do a little bit here. blend it in with the lighter soft suede. Finish coloring here. I think it's time for some new soft suede blends. We'll fill in there and then we'll use this end to do a little bit of our blending. Give that a little darker look up here. and that should be good. That's all I'm gonna go with. I want his feet to be a little bit less white and a little closer to the branch, so I'm just gonna trim just a hair kinda in between his little feet, his toes. just so he can grab that branch a little bit better. And we'll use some dimensionals. I am at the end of my dimensionals here. I'll grab a few pieces. One, these are big pieces, that's okay. All right. There we go, and that is it. Isn't that sweet? Very quick and easy card to do, love this. Um, make sure to click the link at the bottom of the description so you don't miss out on future videos. Uh, it'll send you notifications every time I post a new one. And um, if you would like to earn these gorgeous dies for free, we're gonna use these dies on Saturday. Um, use this nice big one, you're gonna love that. Uh, just remember it's free with a $100 order. And I have a link and a host code below if you'd like to place an order with me. And um, I think that's it for today. I will see you back here on Saturday. Thanks everyone, bye-bye.